If you're a mountain biker living in southeast Michigan, you know that we've had a long rainy season through 2019 that's limited the trails that we can ride at. Though rain can be refreshing and it has its purpose, extended periods of it can really get you down. Storms can also really wear you down and cause some major damage. I know a little about these storms and the damage they cause. If you know me, you know that I've been through more than a fair share of storms in my life. Multiple injuries which seem to happen year after year while trying to raise four children with my wife, car accidents, physical therapy, near fatal accidents of my children, and even a broken neck are on the list of some of the storms we faced. To make it fun, I'm in the middle of yet another storm as I make this video. I'm sure I'm not alone, which is why I'm making it. When you're repeatedly hit with storms, sometimes you just want to give up. I know I have. The never-ending pounding, enemies closing in from every side, it's enough to make you just want to run and hide. I happen to be a Christian, so I know I can't run and hide when storms come in. But what am I supposed to do? I think I'm not alone, nor was I alone in the feelings. Some of the book of Psalms can be very challenging, as some of them were written by people in the middle of some pretty big storms. I graduated in 1988, and it, like so many others, was a stormy time in my life. Someone suggested I read the book of Psalms for encouragement, so I started out with Psalm 88. With words like, I've been left as dead, or you have taken my friends away from me and made them hate me, and I am trapped and cannot escape, needless to say, I wasn't feeling very encouraged. I often wondered if I would ever feel as though I would be allowed to read Psalm 89 because I seemed to be living Psalm 88. Fortunately, someone came to, the, to my rescue in the midst of that storm with the encouragement of the Psalms. The six verses in Psalm 23 helped explain to me that in the midst of the storm, the Lord can bring me into peace. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. You prepare a banquet in the midst of my enemies. This was comforting. The first thing I learned was that I needed to focus on the Lord instead of the storm. As I studied more, I learned a little more about how to deal with the storms in life through the book of Psalms. The second and final one I'll share with you in this video was found in Psalm 43. If you look at it, it can be another depressing psalm. But there's an interesting twist at the end. The writer of this psalm, after crying out to God about his problems, says to himself, Why are you so downcast? Put your hope in God. The second thing after shifting your focus from your problem to your solution was to preach to yourself and continually remind yourself to do so. It happens. We get down. I know this is a lot of work, but we can and should encourage ourselves to hope in something better than our storm. My hope is in God. I needed to remind myself of that in the midst of this storm. So I rode and I went and spent time with him. The storm is still there, but I'm reminding myself to be hopeful. This is one of the reasons I ride. It gives me a chance to be alone and to pray. While I'm out on the trail, I'm giving the problem away to God, and I'm finding rest in Him. Through this time away from everything, my battery for hope is recharging. When this happens, I can be confident that this storm, like so many before it, will end. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you like this first dirt sermon. I'm still very new to all of this, and I'm open to suggestions. Thanks again. Live the faith. Ride it out.